good? More or less. She been flissed so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That chief. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? 
like a whale. Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey, Fliss, look, there's a boat. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, careful. 
be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God! Ugh. 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 He's holding something. things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. <laughs> What's on your brain, buddy? Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Swiss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia! This is crazy! You just gotta wait a few seconds! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going. Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. <laughs> 